Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech Horizon. My name is Dave and today I'm going to show you how to install Windows 11 on your Raspberry Pi 4. Windows 11 has just been released and as you can see it's already running on my Raspberry Pi 4 4GB model. How awesome is that? Now before I'm going to show you how to install it, I wanted to point out that I don't recommend using Windows 11 on your Pi as your main desktop since a lot of the features don't work yet. Unfortunately, onboard Wi-Fi doesn't work yet, meaning you're going to have to use an Ethernet connection and there aren't any GPU drivers either. Nevertheless, the WOR team have done an amazing job to even get Windows up and running on the Pi and I'm honestly still impressed by the fact that I can run Windows 11 on my Pi 4. For the installation, you'll need to click on the first link in the description below which will redirect you to the official WOR website. Here, head to the download section and download the newest version of the imager. After that, you're going to have to create a new folder and unzip the content into it. Once you've done that, return to the WOR website, scroll down and download the boot partition mount utility in case you want to overclock your Pi. This step is optional. Next, scroll all the way down and click on this blue link. Then click on the blue highlighted add guard link. From here, select Windows 11 Insider version and the newest one available for ARM. Then choose your preferred language, which is English for me. Whatever Windows version you want to install, personally I'm going to go for Windows 11 Pro and finally select Download ISO Compiler in one click. To download it, click on this highlighted link. In case a warning pops up, select Keep, Show More and Keep Anyway. Once again, I recommend creating a new folder and moving the file into it. Once the file has finished downloading, open it up Click on more info and run anyway. Now this process will take quite a while depending on what computer you're using. I'm using my Intel NUC so I reckon it's going to take about 40 to 50 minutes. Once it's finished, scroll up to check its location in case you don't know and hit any key to exit. As you can see, mine is saved in the folder I created earlier. The next step is opening up the imager, which is this .exe file we downloaded earlier. Once again, click on more info and run anyway. Here, select the micro SD card you want to flash the image to, select Raspberry Pi 4 and hit next. Then select the ISO file from just now, hit next, Click on use the latest package available on the server, hit next again, use the latest firmware available on the server, hit next, twice, and finally click on install. As soon as it's done installing, click on finish. Now you can overclock your Pi. However, if you have a look at the boot partition, you'll notice that there's no config.txt file. That's why we need the boot partition mount utility we downloaded earlier. So now simply create a new folder and extract it. Then run the application. Select the drive you just installed Windows 11 on. Click on mount and view contents. As you can see the config.txt file now shows up. To edit the config.txt file, you're going to have to use a different editor than the built-in Windows Notepad. Personally, I'm going to use Notepad++. To download it, head to notepad++.org, Downloads, and select the newest version. Then quickly install it. After that, you can open up the config.txt file using Notepad++ by right-clicking it, selecting Open With and Notepad++. Here, just scroll down and add the lines over voltage equals 6 and arm frequency equals 2000 to overclock your Pi to 2GHz. Of course, you can overclock your Pi to whatever you want. 
Now I'm not going to overclock the GPU because Windows 11 doesn't have any GPU drivers yet. After that click on save, close it and eject the micro SD card and plug it out of your PC and into your Pi. By the way, you're going to have to plug an Ethernet cable into your Pi as well if you're planning on using the internet, because like I said, onboard Wi-Fi doesn't work yet. After turning on your Pi, make sure to press escape as soon as your screen shows something. From here select Device Manager, Raspberry Pi Config, Display Config, check 720p to ensure smoother use and uncheck Native Resolution. Then head back by pressing escape on your keyboard and head to Advanced Config. Here disable limit RAM to 3GB so you can use all of your Pi's RAM. Then press escape, hit Y, press escape again, select continue and press enter. Now your Pi will reboot and make sure not to press anything. If it appears to have frozen just leave it and it will continue. After that you're going to have to go through the Windows 11 basic setup process. As you can see Windows 11 has been successfully installed on the Raspberry Pi 4 and you can now start using it. If you open the task manager you can see that Windows 11 is indeed running on the Pi with its BCM2711 processor. The Pi is also overclocked and therefore running at 2 GHz. If you didn't overclock your Pi, it should be running at 1.5 GHz. In terms of RAM, the limit has also been successfully removed as it's now using close to all 4 GB of RAM. You can also see that I'm running Windows 11 on my micro SD card, but you can also install it on an SSD for example. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with the performance. Everything seems to work well and it's overall faster than I expected it to be. You can of course also optimize Windows 11 for the best performance by heading to performance options and selecting adjust for best performance. Apart from that you can also theme it all up by changing the colors, wallpapers and most importantly the taskbar location like I'm going to show you now. But apart from that, that will be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I was able to help you out. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and if you want to see straight to the point tech related content just like this in the future, please consider subscribing. See you in the next one.